Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com again and in this tutorial we're going to look at how to take this text area in our basic Swing application and turn it into a simple custom component and we're also going to add some scroll bars to this text area. So at the moment the way this works is if I look at main app I've just got a text area which I'm adding directly um, into the um, main frame and um, what I want to do is to begin to break this application down simple though it is into separate components so that we can work um, each component can kind of take care of itself and that the so that the, comp um, the application as a whole is basically simplified as we add more stuff to it so um, what I'll do is um, I'll create a new class here, so new class, and I'm going to use something called a J panel, and I'm going to call my custom component my um, my custom class here. I'm going to call it text panel because it's a kind of panel, and I'm going to say that the super class of text panel here is going to be a J panel. So I click finish and add the import there and um, panels are basically just kind of um, uh, depending on your operating system colors usually just sort of like gray flat areas um, which you can add to your main frame but the great thing about them is that you can add other components into them and that's what I'm going to do here so to start with I will just go back here and so currently I'm adding a text area and instead of this text area I'm going to get rid of it for the moment and I'm going to say private um, text panel which was the class that I just created and I'll call that text panel and down here where I create created the text area previously I'll say text panel equals new text panel and here I'll add the text panel instead of the text area and um, for the moment I'm just going to comment this out coming out this bit where in response to the button click here we um, append text to the panel so I'll just comment that out and if I run that now um, this is what a panel looks like it doesn't do anything I can't add text to it or click on it or anything I can click on it but nothing happens um, so now I'm going to add a text area into this panel and turn it into a kind of custom control. Um, so um, the way to do that is I'll go to this text panel class and I'll give it a constructor public text panel and in the constructor I'll create a text area. So in fact I'll put a private J text area here text area and in the constructor I'll say that text area equals a new j text area and let's add the import and um, I'm going to actually I could just well I could set the um, layout on the text panel and I want this I actually want this text area for the moment just to take up the whole panel and um, I can use again border layout so I'll say set layout new border layout so this is actually setting the layout not on the mainframe but on the um, the J panel here on the text panel which is just a kind of J panel because it extends J panel so I'll say um, set layout new border layout and then I can just do add text area um, and border layout dot center so very simple and I'm just gonna by adding it into the center um, since I'm adding nothing to the north, south, east or west this text panel is just going to take up the entire area of the panel which is what I want except that I'm going to do something very slightly different here because I want the text panel to have scroll bars if um, the text kind of goes off the edge or off the bottom so to achieve that I'll just say here new j scroll pane and to the constructor of this scroll pane I'll pass the text area so um, what I'm doing is just wrapping the text area in a J scroll pane 
and now if I run this you can see we've got we've got this um, this is the text panel and it's got this nice text area in it now and if I just um, put more text in than there's room for I get this, this scroll scroll bar appears and the same if I hit return a bit I get a um, vertical scroll bar here which is very nice and you can use scroll bars with um, all kinds of different swing components um, just wrap them in a J scroll paint now um, I want to add text um, in into my custom um, my text panel my custom component when the buttons clicked as before so what I'll do is I'll give this a public method called um, let's make it public void and append um, append text maybe and that can accept a string called text and um, in this method I'll just call text area so the instance variable text area up here text area dot append again and I'll just add the text in there like that so now to hook this up and get it working just as it was before all I have to do is back in my main frame here I can just call text panel so it was text area dot append and now it's text panel um, dot append um, so I just call it append text I think so yeah append text and if I run that and click it there you go okay um, now you can see that um, the strategy that I'm using here that I'm working towards is that um, the main frame is creating lots of different components just two at the moment actually um, and those components can each be potentially quite sophisticated in themselves um, and this is the beginning of a kind of model view controller architecture which we'll get into a bit more as the tutorials progress now in the next tutorial we're going to look at adding a toolbar so I'm going to move that button to a toolbar and we're going to have a second custom component instead of this button here so join me again next time and until then happy coding